So today we are doing, <laughs> me and my friend Finn um, are doing a little YouTube video. What if Darkstalker was named Peacemaker in the first place? Well, for starters, like, he would be, like, a lot better. So in this video, we'll be drawing a picture of the Peacemaker we actually know and love. From book 10. Spoilers for Legends of Dark Soccer and maybe some for book 10 if you had not read them. So just be warned. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, Dark Soccer would hatch on the three moons, and of course, his mother and father would be there. So, so, he would have just, he would, he would have hatched, like, he wouldn't be half Rainwing, like we know, but he would be, he would be half Icewing, and like his formal self. And his father probably wouldn't be too proud of him, even if he was named Peacemaker. And Dark Soccer probably still would not like strawberries. He only likes them when he technically kind of gets born in the Rainforest Kingdom. But anyways. His parents watched steadily as his egg started cracking. Oh, look, he's hatching. Phil's there sat calmly, looking at dark, looking at Peacemaker or Dark Soccer's egg. Hmm. Arctic said skeptically, looking at. Baker's egg. It started cracking. Peacemaker pushed and shoved. He used his tiny talents. He would still be an animus and a minded and a future talent. But he would not be that mean. He probably wouldn't even have killed Arctic. And <laughs> the moons look weird, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know, Finn. <laughs> but anyway, so... <laughs> rotten bananas. <laughs> okay, so... Rotten bananas. <laughs> okay, so I'm just not gonna make moons. <laughs> so, anyway. So, Peacemaker... Went. Yes, pushed and pushed as Finley solemnly whispered. <laughs> oh no, the rotten bananas were back. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Let's continue. So. Anyway. <laughs> Peacemaker shoved and shoved. And he could see really dark futures ahead. So he continued pushing and shoving until he finally made it up. Wow, the world. He thought <laughs> looking up. Mm, peacemaker, Fuzzlayer suddenly said. What? Arctic said. Looking at Fuzzlayer skeptically. His name is Peacemaker, she said, smiling. Mmm, okay, but that's kind of a weird name. He said, looking at Peacemaker, scowling. He still, in this video, does not really like Dark Sucker slash Peacemaker. But anyways, he looked at Peacemaker... 
with a brick plane expression. <laughs> he was okay, but not that great. Alright, but I'm naming the other one. Arctic Scowl. Hmm? If you say so. Feels like I said. Looking at Peacemaker and snuggling up with him. Four years later. <sighs> Arctic and Fuzzlayer, mother and father, were arguing again. Like, seriously, what was their problem? <laughs> he hated when they fought, especially in front when they, if they were fighting in front of Whiteout. Whiteout was always scared when mother and father fighted in front of her. She was wondering if they might even hurt her. Always. So, he tended to take good you care of Whiteout. Tell you have your friend over here. Can you do something so, that doesn't include looking at a screen? We're making a video, Mom. Okay, so... Anyway, my mom kind of interrupted. <laughs> Cheese it's. So anyway, <laughs> he yelled at mother and father, saying that they were dummies for doing this in front of Whiteout. But he was secretly sorry for his mother. She probably wasn't the one who started the fight. It was always Arctic. Of course. So... He didn't really blame her that much, though he was kind of mad at her, just a little. Um, so, well, I mean, sh she let the fights rage, but probably only because she couldn't stop it because Arctic is a weird person. <laughs> but anyways, so she looked... She watched as White out slowly walked out of the shadows where Dark Stalker was hiding. At least they're getting along. Well, Arctic and White out. I mean, Dark Stalker's mother's side. Well, Peacemaker's mother in this case. I'll stop saying Dark Sucker. So, um, so, Peacemaker always wondered what it was like for his mother. I mean, well, he could read her mind, so it was kind of clear. Um, but he wondered what it was like to be inside her body. Well, he thought this has to be figured out. So, he tended to do something a little insane. He, mm, well, he was really insane, so I won't tell you what he did. It is very strange and stuff. <laughs> very weird. <laughs> so, he tested his mother, technically. And she freaked out, so we're, we're just going to skip that part. Um, so, <laughs> he, lo he looked out at, from his window that night, he looked out at the stars, wondering what it would be like to have... It would be, it would, he thought what it would be like to have a mate, maybe. So, he tended to do a lot of insane stuff. Most likely in front of his parents. So, we're making Dark Stalker next. To, well, Peacemaker in this case, next to Strawberry. <laughs> num, 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 num. <laughs> I kind of changed what I wanted to do because at first I wanted to do. 
um, peacemaker. And then... I wanted to do... Like... <laughs> Sorry, my voice... So, um, and then I w just wanted to do regular dark stuff. So, anyway, on with the shoe again. <laughs> so, he looked around. It was very dark, but he still crept outside. He watched his mother and father as they sat down looking up at the moon. Of course, it wasn't really showing that well because. Well, it was really cloudy. But anyway, he looked up at the moon as well, wondering what his life would be like if his parents were all nightlings. He wondered if it would be better or if it would be worse. He didn't really like, he wouldn't like it if it was worse, but he would like it really a lot if it were better. He dreamt every night wondering what it would be like. Eventually, sometimes after thinking, he tended to fall asleep. He was really, really, really tired. After he thought about it. So he looked at the moon one night and he felt like someone might be meet him at school soon. But that did not really that much. He didn't even go to school or yet. He thought looking up i wonder whoever it is can help me take out down my father but i'll act nice first so technically he's just like the original dark stalker just a, a bit nicer um spin stop <laughs> Two years later, when he was at least four, he went to the four-year-old class, waiting for a dragon in his vision named Clear Sight, or at least he thought that was her name. No. He didn't have that good of future telling or foresight. Um, so, I'm almost done. We are stopping the story there, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe <laughs> if you want to see more of me and Finley, or hear more of me and Finley <laughs> doing what-if videos. Well, we are just making them up as we go. But anyways, if you want to see the masterpiece, stay and watch. And stay till the end. So, the, the finishing product is really cool. If you would like that's, all, that, that, that's it. Let's wait, not wait, wait, Dad. I've okay, so got a lot of screen time already today. It's, it's over. I did that's, fix your, or me and mom fixed your iPad. It. That oh. is the finishing product. So I hope you like.